What's up guys, Connor with Guns and Stuff, and in this video I'm going to make a just a quick little video here about the Trijicon ACOG, and if it's right for you. They're very pricey optics, they're very, very good quality optics, very well built, but they might not be right for everyone. Now, the ACOGs go anywhere from like 935 and some of the, the really expensive models go up to like four grand. That's a lot of money, and... Most of them that I see in the range that I work at and most of them that it seems like people online on other YouTube channels have and stuff is the TA-11 and the TA-31 and those go for anywhere from 900 up to 1400 so around there, give or take. So yeah, I'm going to help you decide if this is right for you. How I look at it, this is just, this whole video is my personal preference and this is not a review. I haven't had this thing nearly long enough to do a review, but this is how I look at it. If if you if you enjoy shooting and you only go you don't go very often only a couple times a year probably an optic that is this much money isn't for you the reason I say that is because if if you don't shoot very much you're not gonna get too comfortable with it it's why spend that much money on something that you're not gonna really take seriously so if you don't shoot very much it's probably not the best thing for you because they are pricey and these things are built so well and they're built like tanks and they're meant to be used, they're meant to be abused. I mean, these things, the ACOGs, snow, rain, you can go underwater with them, almost anything. So if you don't shoot very often and you're not going to really abuse it too much, I would say probably stay away from it, get something a little more affordable. Um, now, if you do shoot a lot and you take training seriously and you want to learn and you shoot all the time, I would say make the investment of the, the Trijicon ACOG. I've had it for probably four or five months now, and I had a little hiccup with Trijicon at the beginning, and I'll, that's a whole other video, but um, quality control and all that stuff, their customer service I wasn't too happy about. But other than that, the performance, I every time I leave the range, I'm like, man, this thing is awesome. Like I like it more and more every time I, I use it. It's a great optic I've shot out at. 200 yards and hitting good i wish i could shoot farther but i can't as of right now but but yeah if if you shoot a lot and you want a nice piece of glass and yeah just put it on a nice rifle i i would suggest looking at trijicon some of you might be like me it was sitting in my it's sitting in your cart on whatever website and you're like man should i get it or not i would say if you have the money you're comfortable with spending that much money on an optic, I would say go for it. It's great, great quality. The glass is extremely clear. So yeah, that's pretty much my take on it. If you have any questions or if you have any experience with a Trijicon ACOG, good or bad, put it in the comments and yeah, we'll we'll see what you guys think. I, I think it's a great optic. I really do enjoy it. Uh, Connor with Guns and Stuff, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.